Who is our BJ Hill trade this year, and why is it Jackson Carmen and Joseph Asai? I'll start off by saying it is not going to be Joseph Asai, but we can discuss why it could be Jackson Carmen. That would take a team saying, hmm, I see something in that guy that the Bengals don't see. I think that's also their interior offensive line depth right now, yeah. where it's uh, that and Cody Ford and not much else. Where your Jackson Kirkland maybe is your other guy there, but that's yep. maybe asking a lot. So you, I, I don't you, know if they feel comfortable getting even thinner at an already thin position. You you want to talk about fleecing? <laughs> Let's talk about fleecing for a second. <laughs> that would be fleecing a team um, mm -hmm. because I'll never say never, and here's why: Billy Price was able to garner. Draft capital and, and right and yeah. uh and um BJ Hill out of it. People are desperate for offensive line. Man. Right. And I think in an offensive line driven league, I think the chances the Bengals can get a call for Jackson Carmen actually are pretty high. Yeah. I think I think especially when it gets down to cut down day, if there's a, a veteran where the Bengals are like, damn, we would love to have that guy on our team, or a player the Bengals would love to have on their team, maybe as a cast off or whatever reason didn't work out, and you're like, man. We would love to have that guy on the team, and we know that he's either going to get cut. Maybe we know they called about Jackson Carmen. Maybe that team has interest in Jackson Carmen, and we do. A, you're already going to cut the guy, regardless. Yeah. We help you with interior because guess what? You know what? What other teams like isn't what another team likes. There could be a team that says the Bengals have played Jackson Carmen out of position. They could say the Bengals have used Jackson Carmen primarily as a uh, as a uh, what do you call it? As a right tackle, as a as a guard. <laughs> but he, there were some people that felt like he projected better at left tackle. There were some yeah. people that felt like he projected better at guard. You never know what other people in the league might view another player as. We never thought that you'd be able to get the draft capital you got out of Billy Price, and you yeah, got that out of Billy Price. Yeah. So um, I think it's one of those things where I, I could see a team calling for for Jackson Harm. I could. Yeah, I, I think I think that's realistic. I think if we're just looking at you know like names and necessarily mm -hmm. positions, what is surprising if we've seen a running back too. There's there's some crowded running back rooms across the league. You're looking in Denver, they just drafted the Jets. Just the have drafted, Jets, dear the God, Jets have, what are they doing? They drafted <laughs> two more running backs this year. They drafted one last year, Brees Hall the year before. Um, the Chicago Bears. Michael Carter the year before yeah, that. Yeah, the Chicago Bears. You know they're they signed DeAndre Swift, Khalil Herbert's there, Roshan Johnson they drafted last year. Another crowded back, crowded room and. Um, you know, I, I think they're obviously content with their running back room where they would have drafted one. Um, but if you're just looking at, you know, again, if this if you're just going to have the opportunity to bring in another solid contributor out of a position that you would cut, you know, then it's just something that can work out. But I think, you know, wouldn't surprise me if there was a small move for a running back like that just because there are plenty of crowded rooms across the league.